wonderful. Thank you, everyone, to uh, for joining in. Yes, Happy New Year to you all. And yes, it's another Janome's Magical Machine Mystery Tour. You know, there's so many things we can do to, again, share the Janome love. But I thought, again, there's so many Janome machines out there. So we'll continue for this year. I don't know about all of this year, but uh, for the, at least the beginning couple of months of this year, we're still going to be doing the Janome's Magical Machine Mystery Tour. But I've decided to mix things up a little bit. And there'll be a couple of um, ooh, different goodies, different sneak peeks uh, along along the way as well, just to keep your interests, you know, peaked. And, and what are we going to talk about week by week? Oh, I don't know. It's a mystery. <laughs> so again, you've got to tune in. So lovely. Thank you everyone for joining me today. So yes, uh, my name is Michael Smith, the National Consumer Education Manager of Genomi Canada. So thank you again for joining me here in my uh, palatial estate um, for another edition of Genomi's Magical Machine Mystery Tour. And again, what machine will we be talking about today? Ooh, well, I will turn this down. Hopefully not blind you with that. Again, terrible overhead lighting. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, yes. Yeah. So we can see Tanya's fabulous artwork for our Janome's Magical Machine Mystery Tour. Ooh, what will it be today? And again, I love her drawings. They're so cute. Well, this machine, oh look, it comes with an instructional DVD as so many of our machines do. So I really hope you all review them. Oh, hello, and I am Ginger is here. Perfect timing. So I really hope you do all play these instructional DVDs. Now, yes, they are for Windows-based computers, uh, and I know a lot of laptops these days um, don't have, if it's brand new, they don't have the uh, external CD drive, but you can buy those separately. In fact, that's what my brand new uh, work laptop is like that. It doesn't have a, a disk drive built into it, so I bought very inexpensively a, a separate external CD reader, so uh, I can still watch all these instructional DVDs. So lovely. So that is very good. And then, of course, that comes with a very good instruction manual. There's a little sneak peek of the drawing of our machine today. So again, make sure to read your instruction manual and keep it handy. Now, if you happen to lose your instruction manual, as uh, I did the other week, I couldn't find my uh, HD9 instruction manual. But again, you can go on our um, genomi.ca site or genomi.com or depending whatever genomi site you are in the world because uh, we do have international viewers so welcome everyone uh, but if you go to your main genomi site in your country and uh, probably scroll to the bottom of the page as is true of genomi.com and genomi.ca and on the the bottom of that page it says support and you click on support and then it takes you to a new page and then it says manuals and and you can find your machine in there uh in fact my there's a retired section so even my 28 year old little genomi i could still find my instruction manual there so again a good resource as well uh to always have your instruction manual close by but yes oh what is our new machine that we're going to be talking about today. It is the fabulous Janome 4120QDC. Now, if memory serves me correctly, oh, uh, I believe it is uh, quilt, decor, and couture. So yes, this cute machine and again, when I say things like, oh, it's cute and it's adorable and it's little, again, don't, uh, you know, don't be fooled and thinking, oh, it's, it's, a, it's a toy, it's not real. Oh, yes, no, it's still a really good machine as we will go through. Uh, but yes, uh, 4120 QDC, so quilting, decor, like uh, home decorating and couture, of course, uh, clothing. There's so much you can do with this machine. Now, if you've all saw Tanya's cute little Instagram post on Janome HQ. Uh, she had a little sewing machine and, and referred to when the COVID restrictions uh, lighten up. <laughs> uh, you know, here in Ontario, we're, we're in another lockdown again till towards the end of January. And then we'll see what happens, you know, from there. Again, nobody knows what's going to be happening. But uh, the main thing is we all stay safe. So that's fine. 
But when, you know, COVID is all done, when we're able to travel more freely, uh, when we're able to host classes in the Genome Sewing and Learning Center in Oakville, Ontario, for example, uh, maybe a little machine like this would be ideal for you to bring to classes, or if you have a, a cottage or a, um, a even a motorhome, a trailer, uh, many people like this machine, uh, 4120, as a secondary machine that they can again take to classes or they take to the cottage, uh, but uh, many people tell us that this is their primary machine as well, then they don't need anything else but this, because there is so much packed into this machine. Oh, Grandma Craw, hello. Oh, Debbie is having trouble if it, it is buffering. Uh, then anytime anybody's having some uh, computer issues, internet issues, I suggest um, go out of Instagram entirely and then come back in, and that will probably solve your uh, your issues. Uh, hopefully it's not on my end here. <laughs> Because uh, we're actually, we've got a beautiful sunny day today, so that's a good thing. So, yes, the, uh, for oh yeah, Census Leia owns this lovely machine and uses it for classes, sewing at a friend's house, or an extra machine at home. She loves it. Oh, that's wonderful. That is great to hear. And yes, it is so good because it is so versatile. And again, it's about 14 pounds. Uh, so again, very lightweight, uh, easy to move around. We've got about six and a half, just over six and a half inches here throughout space uh, by about five inches tall. Uh, 120 stitches, you know, sometimes the numbers on the Janome machines, the model numbers down here, 4120, uh, sometimes they coincide with the number of stitches per machine. So in this case, yes, there is 120 stitches in the fabulous 4120 QDC. And it is a computerized machine. So again, you've got this beautiful LCD screen. You've got some push button controls here where you can adjust, oh, this is your stitch width and this is your stitch length. And again, you can see that change on your LCD screen. So that's very cool. And then we've got, oh, different modes of stitching that we can switch to our utility stitches and our decorative stitches, and we've got uh, three built-in alphabets, so our regular fonts, or our European accented uh, fonts, or then even the uh, Cyrillic uh, fonts as well. And the cool thing I love about many of these QDCs, uh, yes, Georgia Reap, Grieger says, yes, it's my travel machine too. It's a little workhorse. Yes, I agree. Because like all Janome machines, it starts with that cast aluminum base. So very sturdy, very solid. And then again, all the, the pretty pieces, the plastic, the, the easier to clean, lighter and brighter uh, bits are added to it. But it's still a very sturdy, solid uh, machine. It is a seven millimeter low shank machine. So again, on Janome's Magical Machine Mystery Tour, we're taking a, a ride through all Janome machines, uh, again, from entry level all the way up to top of the line. So uh, this machine being a seven millimeter low shank machine, uh, again, QDC model is kind of like right in the, in the middle. Uh, oh, bonjour, Celine. Hello, hello. Uh, so again, right in the middle. So you've got a lot of great uh, features. And um, again, at a slightly uh, lower price point. Oh, Synthos Leia owns the flower stitch foot and believe it works with this machine. <gasps> well, yes, it does, Synthos Leia. And I'm so glad you brought that up. I was going to show it, but I might as well show it now. <laughs> uh, because yes, uh, for things like, let's say you have a nine millimeter machine, uh, you know, a 15,000 or you've got a 6,700 um, and you want to use a certain machine or certain feet like, ooh, this gorgeous flower stitcher. Again, that looks like such an unusual foot, but this very cool flower stitcher that comes in this gorgeous, as Tanya and I call it, this retro packaging. Uh, this flower stitch foot, for example, is only available in low shank models. So again, you can't use this on your 15,000 or your 6,700. So you would need to get a low shank machine in order to use this flower stitch foot. Uh, so then I was suggesting to people again, oh, if you're looking for a, a second machine, maybe consider a seven millimeter 
low shank one, if you've got a nine millimeter high shank one already, uh, you won't be able to interchange your presser feet, but you'll be able to use uh, specialty presser feet like uh, this flower stitcher. Now I demonstrated the flower stitcher and there's some fabulous things you can do with it to um, basically stitch in a circle. And these are a lot of just the plain, do you believe that's your uh, blind hem stitch? Uh, built into the machine, but it looks so differently with using the flower stitcher. And I demonstrated the flower stitcher for the, uh, ooh, Janome's Awesome Accessory Countdown. Ooh, I think was at number eight, somewhere like that in our, uh, in our tour. Uh, but you can go back to the Janome HQ YouTube channel to see the flower stitcher foot uh, in action. And yes, you can use it with your 4120 QDC, any of your low shank machines, you'll be able to use that flower stitch foot. Uh, so again, that's another great reason uh, to get this machine. Uh, but yes, being an electronic machine, it's got features like, oh, needle up down, which we love, scissors, which we all love to cut our threads. Uh, it's got the lock button, the reverse button, the stop start button, so we don't always have to use the foot pedal. Uh, now this twin needle guard uh, built into a number of our Janome machines, I demonstrated on the 6700 uh, a couple of weeks ago, the twin needle guard on that machine. And, and the wonderful thing about this, again, Janome is always trying to, to think uh, kind of for you, is when you have a machine with this twin needle guard built in, when I hit that button then it won't allow me to use any stitch that's not compatible with a twin needle. So it's a really good safety feature. And again, it's built into a number of our machines. Now I love this stitch chart that comes with, again, the QDC range of machines and a number of machines that it just clips on and off up here. So you've got quick, easy reference for all your stitches built in, again, to your various modes. You know, uh, two is your utility stitches, mode three is all your decorative stitches. And you can see by this little icon here, there's your twin needle and it's uh, got a little gray box around it. So any of my stitches that are grayed out means I can use my twin needle with those stitches. Anything that is uh, not grayed out means that it's not compatible with the, the twin needle. So again, that's a great safety feature. And then again, I just pivot this around. Oh, there's your alphabet. There's your, again, oh, European uh, alphabet there. And you can see how easy it is for this stitch chart to come off and on. <laughs> so that's wonderful. You can uh, keep it right next to your machine or keep it up here out of the way. So that's cool. And then again, like many of our Janome machines, on uh, this one we can adjust the needle tension here by uh, raising or lowering that uh, guide here. Or, and we've got our uh, presser foot pressure up here, so we can turn that knob to increase or decrease the pressure of our presser foot. Oh, Sandra Mugman, hello, how are you? And yes, Happy New Year. So again, so many of these, uh, again, higher end features built into this machine. Uh, one thing I love about Janome is not only do they design sort of from the, the bottom up and they keep adding new features to uh, machines as you go up the range, but they also take a lot of those high end features and, and put them in uh, kind of like lower end uh, models. So you really get a big bang for your buck. Now, what comes with this cute machine is a variety of presser feet here, which again, as described in your manual. So things like our, ooh, our um, F foot, our craft foot, our satin stitch foot that has a little groove in the bottom for your decorative stitches. Uh, I demoed these feet for the A to Z with Janome series. So you can go back to review that series on YouTube, on the Genome HQ YouTube channel to see all of these feet in action. Uh, the C foot is our over edge or overcast foot that it mimics uh, the serger. So here are these little stitch fingers that are the same little stitch fingers that are on our sergers. And then it has, the C foot has this little brush here. So as the over edge stitch goes over that stitch finger and over this little brush to support the stitches that will finish off the edge of your fabric. So again, we've got uh, videos on the Genome HQ YouTube channel demonstrating all of these feet. 
And then, oh, the G foot is one of my favorites. It's the blind hem foot. But because of that little rudder, that guide in the middle, I also use it for edge stitching uh, by adjusting my needle. So again, that's the G foot that you can see that demoed in the A to Z with Janome series on uh, Janome HQ YouTube. And the E foot, our zipper foot, again, demoed this uh, foot for that A to Z series as well. And then it can snap to either side of the bar if you're inserting the left side of the zipper or the right side of the zipper. And again, all the instructions are in your manual. So that's what comes with the machine as, as standard. But also, ooh, we've got some additional goodies. Now, this is your regular presser foot that comes with the QDC range of machines, most of them. Uh, but did you know, as a upgrade, this big extra large foot pedal will also fit your QDC machine if it doesn't come with it already. Uh, so I can tell just by this is the the black one is the foot that comes with my machine. This is the uh, power foot for the extra large uh, presser foot here, uh, foot pedal. So then I can see, oh, those are the same pins that, you know, insert into the machine. They're the same ends. So I know that, yes, this foot pedal is going to work in my 4120. So that is a, a nice upgrade. But again, that's the foot pedal that comes with your machine. But yes, from your Junomi dealer, you could get this as an upgrade, so that's wonderful. Uh, but also included with the machine, oh, we have this little accessory box that will come off. So the machine does have a free arm, so great if you're going to be doing some, you know, hemming and some tight places. But you also get this gorgeous extension table, and it's got the flip-up legs, which make it nice and easy to uh, uh, flip up in place. But this extension table is great, because then again, look, I've got all this extra space for my quilting, for whatever kind of project I, uh, you know, want to do. And these little feet as well, on the very bottom, uh, these are just screwed in. So again, we can adjust these little rubbery feet However, we need to in order to get a good fit around the free arm, because you definitely don't want any kind of uh, gap or any kind of lip that's going to uh, impede, you know, feeding. So again, I can adjust these legs. My table isn't 100% uh, level with my old mat on here. So I can again adjust these legs so I could get my extension table exactly up where I need it. So that's really cool. That comes included. You've got lots of room in this ex uh, little accessory tray. Ooh, for things like, of course, all of our tools, screwdriver and seam ripper that are always essential. But we've got the auxiliary spool pin here with the extra spool caps. And that just fits up. There's a little hole up here at the top of the machine. So again, when I want to use that twin needle function, I can uh, clip that auxiliary spool pin into place. Or when I want to wind my bobbin, I don't need to unthread my um, regular spool of thread here. I can put on a secondary spool of thread to wind my bobbin. So that's always a very handy, convenient uh, accessory included. And of course, we've got extra bobbins. And then, oh yes, our little sample pack of, of needles. I love this little pack. Again, it's got a twin needle in here. It's got the um, Janome blue tip needle there. Uh, the others are uh, size 14 needles. Uh, the blue tip is size 11. So these other ones are size 14. So again, it's a little sample pack of needles that comes included with the machine. But yes, there's more. That's another reason why I love these machines. Look, there's more included with your 4120 QDC is this adorable quilting attachment kit. Now, this quilting attachment kit comes separately as well. So if you need a foot like, oh, your quarter inch foot with a guide, or this is your F2 satin stitch foot uh, that's an open toe, uh, or again, if you need a walking foot for your machine, and this one comes with a, a quilting guide bar, or oh, one of my fabulous all-time favorite Janome accessories is this cloth guide um, that it is included in this quilting attachment kit, as is the open toe uh, darning foot. 
which again, I've also demoed on the A to Z with Janome series. It was the, the P episode, the PDH foot. Uh, this is the open toe version, so again, I've got great visibility. Uh, this is great for darning, but I also do uh, free motion quilting with this. So this comes included with your machine, this extra little bonus kit. Uh, but again, this also comes separately, so if your machine did not come with all of these feet, uh, they are available, again, for low shank. Uh, these are for 7 millimeter machines. Uh, but yes, there's our open toe satin stitch foot. So when you're doing your decorative stitching, your alphabet, sometimes, uh, you know, having that little bar in, uh, in place, you know, maybe will get in the way. You want more visibility, so great, you've got options. And then, yes, everybody loves this quarter inch foot with the guide. I like all the help I can get to sew as straight as I can, especially because I generally sew quite fast. So right here is where my needle would drop, but then, oh, do you see on this foot, there's a quarter inch mark in front, so you know just where to stop and pivot your fabric. And then as well, there is, ooh, a quarter inch mark right there on the back. So then you know if you want to start sewing in a quarter of an inch from the edge of your fabric, you know where to line up your fabric and start stitching right there. So that's included in this little quilting attachment kit, and again included in the 4120 QDC. So you really get a lot with it. Again for our quilting, we've got one of our fabulous walking feet with like the upper feed dogs to uh, feed the fabric evenly. And this quilting guide bar I love because it just snaps in here to the back of the foot. So then again, whatever kind of distance we're gonna be quilting, we can move that guide bar. But did you also know this quilting guide bar can go into your regular foot holder? It has a little black metal Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Again, I need it. Tanya, I need you. <laughs> uh, it has a little black metal uh, sort of flange on the top of the foot holder. Oh, um, so if you can, I don't know if I can get that camera in there uh, to see. Oh, yes, I think you can just see at the top. There, so there's my black little flange on the top of the foot holder, and there I can slide that quilting guide bar. So even using my regular A zigzag foot, I can still use this quilting guide bar, uh, maybe if I'm going to be using, or if I could use uh, my F foot, the, the satin stitch foot, and I'm doing rows of decorative stitches, I can use this foot holder and this uh, quilting guide bar to then align my rows of decorative stitches. So again, it's very multi-purpose, not just for quilting. So that is included as well, which is fabulous. Ooh, something else I wanted to mention though, when I talked about the little auxiliary spool pin that fits up to the top of the machine there, a really cool accessory that comes with some of our machines, but again, available from your Janome dealer. These cute little pin cushions, aren't they adorable? And they come with a variety of fabric, uh, often uh, polka dots uh, fabric, that you can get these separate little pin cushions from your Janome dealer, and you can insert it up here into your auxiliary spool pin. So that's very handy. Oh, Synthes Leia uses the quilting bar uh, that way all the time. Yes. Oh, that's actually, oh, and Anne Hein is here. Hello. Hello. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's a great way. Again, multi-purpose. There's so many ways, again, to use your machine. So when I'm going to do things like, oh, my decorative stitches, let's get back here. And we're going to look to, oh, let's go into mode three. So that's my decorative stitches. And I'll do, oh, stitch number 85 down here, that little curly cue. And, oh, no, I'll do, 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 I'll do stitch number 29. That'll be more simple. So if I go stitch number 29, there's my stitch number 29. I can adjust, again, the length and the width. Uh, but if I'm going to then stitch my line of stitching here. Whoops, I'll get that into place so you can see what I'm doing. 
Now also on this machine we have our patented needle plate here with a lot of the markings that are very useful. For example, if you're a garment sewer, the couture sewer, uh, I'm lining up on my needle plate here and on my bobbin cover. I see the 5 8 inch line, so I've got the raw edge of my fabric up against the 5 8 inch line. So again, most of our commercial patterns have the 5 8 inch seam allowance, so that's very useful to have those guides on your needle plate so you know exactly where you're stitching. Uh, but yeah, so there's my beautiful row of decorative stitches there. But now I can use the mirror image button here and that's going to, there's a little icon on the screen. So what's that going to let me do is flip that stitch automatically. So you're basically kind of doubling the number of stitches uh, built into your machine just by a touch of a button. So how simple is that? So this could be a very cool decorative feature down, oh, let's say the, the front of a, a button placket and you're doing this decorative stitch Imagine a row of buttons, you know, right down in the middle of that. So how cute is that? Or this is around a hem or, you know, a little girl's uh, dress, you know, or home decorating. You're going to decorate your fabric first and then you're going to make a pillow cover or something. So again, uh, just by having that simple little mirror image button here increases the number of stitches available to your machine. So again, how simple is that? Now back to our uh, patented needle plate, I always recommend uh, take your needle plate off. It'll be easier for you to see. Uh, but on our needle plate here, we've got things, and even on the, the bobbin cover here, we have marks of, oh, like our uh, quarter of an inch and three eighths of an inch. And again, there's my five eighths of an inch. And I have those same markings up here, which again will be easier to see once you take this needle blade off. But then you'll be able to see then, oh, that lines up with your quarter inch. And again, the half inch, if you've got uh, home decorating, often has a lot of um, half inch seam allowances. So that is marked on your needle plate. Or, you know, for those that don't use inches, let's say you use uh, metric. So we've got even one centimeter and two centimeter and three centimeter. I, I sound like the count from Sesame Street, you know, who counts? And four centimeters, ah, 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 as he says. So yeah, so even centimeters are built in, not just uh, not just inches. So that is in your, again, patented Janome needle plate. And again, your instruction manual goes over a lot of that uh, information. So that's very cool. Now I was experimenting, ooh, with some beautiful uh, lettering. Again, built into the machine and adding, uh, changing the uh, various sizes. That's my uh, seven millimeter uh, wide uh, letter. And then there I decreased it down to five. So you can make those simple, easy adjustments. When you're going to be doing your uh, decorative stitches and your fonts, though, what definitely helps is, again, you know it if you're a regular viewer of Janome HQ, that Madeira stabilizer. So here I've got one layer, and it's not too bad, but you know, close up, I do see a little bit of wrinkling in between those layers. So what I did instead was I added two layers of my tearaway stabilizer, and that really supported that beautifully. There's no wrinkling there at all. So whenever you're going to be doing your decorative stitches, always use some kind of stabilizer. And again, I always get my stabilizer from that Madeira Stabilizer Starter Pack that I love so much. There's 12 different stabilizers here in big sheets, so you can really experiment which ones you like the most. Uh, Tearaway and uh, Iron-On and water-soluble ones. Uh, the little scraps of the water-soluble interfacing, uh, even little scraps like that, what I do is I put them in a little spray bottle afterward and add some water to it and then shake it up and this becomes like my own stabilizer that after my fabric dries and I press it so that helps stabilize fabric as well with those little scraps of water soluble stabilizer again nothing goes to waste 
uh, and then even like little scraps like that. Again, maybe if you're doing embroidery on your uh, 550E, for example, and you've got some scraps left over, uh, save little strips like this. And this is what you can use when you're experimenting and doing, again, your, your lettering for your quilt labels. Uh, then you can save these little scraps for that. It's very important to stabilize your fabric. Uh, something that I will do if I'm not using an iron-on stabilizer, uh, I will use this fabulous artistic tack spray. And again, available from your Janome dealer, and you spray your stabilizer, and then that will, it's a temporary adhesive, so it'll stick the stabilizer to your fabric enough for you to do your stitching, but this will eventually wash uh, away as well. Like, it, it's only a temporary adhesive, but that's very good to use. Or something else to stabilize your fabric if you don't want to use another layer of stabilizer. This Tareel Magic, I absolutely love. I demonstrated this in the ooh, A to Z with Janome series. It was uh, episode number one was the Ribbon Sewing Guide. And I use this fabric when I'm going to, again, make my uh, ribbons, my decorative uh, rows of decorative stitches, my quilt labels, uh, garment uh, tags. Uh, I love using to real magic because then I don't have to use as much uh, of the other stabilizer, or in fact, I often don't use it at all, the, the other stabilizer. This is just to real magic. There is no stabilizer to remove, you know, with a tearaway stabilizer. Oh, I wouldn't want to remove it, you know, from all that decorative stitching. So instead, I treated this fabric with to real magic, and you see it becomes like paper. Uh, this is the the regular fabric, untreated, and that is treated. Like, look at the difference of that. So it's really amazing. So I love To Real Magic. Again, great for your decorative stitches when you're going to be using your uh, built-in fonts of your machine to making, uh, again, garment labels, quilt labels. Uh, it's really good to uh, beef up your fabric, and then this too will wash away uh, as well. So it's, it's not a permanent thing. If this were like a garment label, oh, that would irritate your skin. But again, once you wash it, it'll be fine. So that's, uh, to Real Magic is available from your Janome dealer as well. So that's always good to use. Oh, and then one of the last things I wanted to talk about, and again, the time goes by so fast. There is so much I really could do. I have to wake up my computer here. But what I wanted to show you all uh, oh, Sandra Magman's been having trouble with the video. Uh, again, Sandra, uh, if you go out of uh, the Instagram, go out of Janome HQ Instagram and then come back in again. And hopefully that will be better. Uh, but yes, when you're uh, considering whatever Janome machine, uh, always a good thing to do is to go on to, in this case, Janome.ca, since we're in Canada. But again, wherever you are in the world, go on your country's Janome site. So here I've got the 4120 QDC, so I can learn about it. Uh, now here in Canada, uh, we've got the tab that says where to buy, or in um, Genome America, it says like find a dealer. Uh, but also on the website, when you want to see what uh, dealers have, which machines and what, uh, you know, products they have, uh, even in this lockdown, for example, in Ontario, um, that we have our lockdown, but still check out the Janome site, check out the where to buy tab, and it will give you the list of dealers. And double check with the dealers, call the dealers and see, even though their, their doors may be closed to the public, again, because of the COVID restrictions, uh, but chances are they're still working in the store and they may be doing, again, curbside pickup. Uh, so then you can still check in with them uh, again, while you're trying to find supplies, while you're researching machines, uh, to still double check with them. Uh, but yes, when you want to compare, because there are so many QDC machines, and when you want to find out, well, which features have, you know, on which machines, uh, when you find your machine, like 4120, and you scroll down, not only does it give you a list of its features, but and the accessories that it comes with, but then there's also a little tab that says, ooh, optional accessories. So, oh my gosh, look at that. Like all of a sudden, 
your little machine, you know, boom, that the whole new world has opened up for you with a lot of these uh, more decorative uh, feet, uh, for example, uh, like things, oh, I see the pin tuck feet. Uh, I demoed those in the A to Z with Janome series. So then uh, again, you can go back on YouTube to see those and they talk about the various other needles available and everything. So again, that's on the Janome site. So lots of information there. But then also this model comparison tab. So here is the model you're, you're interested in. Whoops. But then <laughs> they have a, where it says change machine. So here I can drop down a menu of, okay, which kind of machine are you interested in? Oh, I want a sewing machine. And then there it will give you the list of machines that's available. So if I click through, oh, I want to see what QDC models are available. Again, I can scroll through here and see there's a, a Sewist DC, but I want to click through and find, uh, oh, our like 31. Oh, there's a 4300 QDC. So maybe I want to compare that one. And then over here, I want to see, oh, maybe if I can find our uh, oh, I think I just saw it. 3160 QDC, another very popular machine. So again, I can select it here. I can find the machine and then I can see how do they compare. So it'll just give you a little bit of homework. And then again, always contact your Janome dealer for more information and see what they have available. Uh, and then, yes, look at all these fabulous reviews. Love my 4120. Perfect travel machine. Great machine. So don't just believe me. You know, yes, I'm I'm Janome man. I work for Janome and I absolutely love Janome. Uh, you know, many times I've, I've shared my story in that 28 years ago, I fell in love with my first Janome. So that's why I jumped at the chance to join the Janome team. But again, all these other people, and, and again, like Census Leia, thank you for your seat. Uh, feedback today. Again, love. They're, in this case, 4120. So then you can go on the Janome website to also find the reviews from people that actually own the machine and use the machine every day. Um, so, oh, just joined. What is the name of the spray stabilizer? So the stabilizer is called Toreal Magic and comes in many different... Uh, sizes. Uh, uh, when I did our uh, projects for the, the holidays uh, that I did uh, Janome HQ Facebook Lives, now those Facebook Lives are also on the Janome HQ YouTube channel, but in one of those Facebook Lives when I talked about all the, the uh, holiday projects that we did for our decorating of our office space and I said about, uh, I asked Tanya, our fabulous parts, notions, and accessories coordinator for the, like the big gallon jug of To Real Magic. And she was like, what? You want that giant jug? Yes, because I use To Real Magic all the time. It, it's wonderful. So that is available from your Janome dealer, either in your big gallon jug or again, even smaller spray bottles like that. Um, so yeah, definitely worth uh, picking up to, again, stabilize your fabric, whatever your project. I use it a lot for uh, embroidery, but if you have our artistic edge cutter, for example, it's great to stabilize your fabric to, uh, to use the cutter for that. Or in this case, again, I used it to stabilize the fabric when I was doing my little Janome label here on my adorable 4120 QDC. So again, lots of options available to you. I wish I had more time to go through it all, uh, but double check with your Janome dealer to again, see what they have in stock. Now, yes, a lot of our machines are still on back order, but again, they're coming as, as quickly as possible. So if uh, whatever you order from your Janome dealer, again, uh, once you place that order, then we know as soon as that item comes into the warehouse, then it is earmarked for you. So yes, fantastic. Okay, so thank you everyone. I'm so glad. Ooh, I, I think my microphone stayed charged the whole time, so that's wonderful. Uh, oh yes, uh, Greer Carol has had the 4120 QDC since the model first came out. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes, she loves it. That's wonderful. Yes, I agree. They are wonderful uh, machines and, uh, well, like all Janome machines. <laughs> but yes, thank you so much everyone for joining me. I will see you all next week for another edition of Janome's Magical Machine Mystery Tour. And again, what machine will we be talking about? Oh, I don't know. It's a mystery. 
But yes, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe, everyone. And again, Happy New Year. I will see you again soon. Bye.